So guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will cover the lab developer modern web app using Cloud Spanner. So first of all, open Cloud Console in incognito window. Now wait for it to get signed in. Sometimes it gets signed in automatically. Sometimes it's asked for username and password. So you can refer to the lab instruction for that. Now click on I understand. Click on I agree and then I agree and continue now activate the cloud shell. So basically this app is very easy. App I mean lab is very easy. Here we have to just insert some data. First of all we have to create some APIs means enabling the APIs and then we will insert the data. So for that move forward to the lab instruction and enable these APIs. So basically we are enabling three APIs that is artifact registry, container registry and run. Go out run. So wait for these APIs to get enabled. In case you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe it and like the video. To clone the repository where we will execute the next task. So for that, run this. Basically, this cloning will download the repo in our local cloud shell. That is basically lab cloud shell. So wait for the file to get downloaded fully. Now finally, the repo is downloaded. Now we will navigate towards the folder. So finally after hitting this, we got the folder. Now we will be in the model section. So here these sections are not that much important. So as you can see, even the component section is not important. So you can avoid these commands. Now we will move forward to the back end where we will be exporting some variables. So basically we have to create the file that environment so run nano.env it will create environment variable files here we will export the values of project id database and instance so now we need to install so run this for nvm install now wait for this to complete then we will move forward to the next part that is we have to run again another command for installing Now log label error needs to be installed so run it. So wait for the installation to complete. So now we will be running the build command. So this will take some time. So basically after build command we will run auth command. So now paste it here. Now it's created. Now we will push the docker image. Then after that, we will deploy the app. So now here, we need to run the deployment. So basically, we have to run the deployment. After that, we will get service URL that is here. And then we will modify some changes and run the next command. That is the main task of this video that is importing some data. Finally, the service URL is ready. You can either copy it to a notepad if you want to proceed for later steps, which we will not be covering in this video. But if you want, you can do it. Now let's move forward to the lab instruction and move forward to the main task that is importing. So after completing this task, we will be done with the lab. So let's run this. Basically, it will insert some data. 
So as you can see, three data will be inserted, which is mostly the company stocks and stimulation. So finally, it's done. Now we will hit check my progress for all the tasks. That is mainly this task only. We'll get the score and we'll be done with the lab. Thank you guys. Have a great day ahead. So as you can see, wait for some time till you get the score. So done. Bye guys.